Welcome to the channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that combines science, history, and a touch of mythology, the uniqueness of Greek DNA. Greece is known for its incredible contributions to the world, philosophy, democracy, art, and the Olympic Games. But beneath its cultural and historical achievements lies something equally remarkable, the DNA of its people. Greek DNA is a treasure trove of information, carrying the legacy of one of the most influential civilizations in history. Have you ever wondered how the ancient Greeks, who gave us legends like Hercules, philosophers like Aristotle, and scientists like Archimedes, are connected to the modern Greek population? Is there a direct link between the people of the Parthenon and the bustling streets of Athens today? This is not just about ancestry, it's about what Greek DNA reveals about the survival of a civilization, the influence of geography, and how genetics can tell a story that history books can't. So, sit back, and let's explore the journey of Greek DNA through time. By the end of this video, you'll understand why Greek DNA is celebrated as unique and how it continues to shape the identity of a proud and resilient people. One of the most fascinating discoveries in genetics is the continuity of Greek DNA. Scientists have long wondered how much the modern Greek population resembles their ancient ancestors, and the findings are nothing short of extraordinary. Genetic studies have shown that modern Greeks share a significant portion of their DNA with the Mycenaeans and Minoans, two foundational civilizations of ancient Greece. This continuity is rare. Throughout history, invasions, migrations, and conquests have often diluted or replaced local genetic populations. But in Greece, something different happened. The country's rugged geography, its high mountains, scattered islands, and narrow peninsulas acted as natural barriers. These features limited large-scale migrations and helped preserve the genetic identity of the people who lived there thousands of years ago. Even during periods of foreign rule, like the Roman Empire, Byzantine era, or Ottoman occupation, the genetic core of the Greek population remained remarkably stable. This doesn't mean there was no intermixing, there absolutely was, but the essence of Greek DNA proved resilient. Modern genetic studies have confirmed that today's Greeks are more closely related to ancient Greeks than to any other population. It's a testament to the strength of cultural and genetic identity, proving that while history is written in books, it's also preserved in our genes. While Greek DNA demonstrates continuity, it's important to understand that it didn't develop in isolation. Ancient Greece was a crossroads of civilizations, with connections to Egypt, Mesopotamia, Anatolia, and beyond. The genetic makeup of the Greek people reflects this history of interaction and exchange. Take the Minoans, for example. This advanced civilization, centered on the island of Crete, was one of Europe's earliest. Genetic research shows that the Minoans had strong ties to populations from Anatolia and the Near East. Later, the Mycenaeans, who are often considered the first Greeks, absorbed these influences and added their own genetic contributions. As the Greek city-states flourished, so did their interactions with neighboring cultures. Trade routes connected Greece with North Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. These exchanges weren't just economic or cultural, they also involved people, bringing new genetic material into the population. Yet, despite these interactions, the Greeks managed to retain a distinct identity. This is the truly unique aspect of Greek DNA. It's not about isolation, but about synthesis. Over time, the Greeks absorbed influences from other cultures without losing their core genetic traits. This blend of continuity and adaptation is what makes Greek DNA so fascinating to researchers. Now let's get into the science of what makes Greek DNA truly unique. One of the most striking features of Greek genetics is the presence of specific genetic markers that are more common in this population than in others. For example, the Y chromosome haplogroup EV13 is strongly associated with Greek males. This marker is not only prevalent in Greece, but also found in other parts of the Balkans, linking modern Greeks to early farming communities in the region. The presence of this haplogroup is a genetic fingerprint that ties today's Greeks to their Neolithic ancestors. On the maternal side, mitochondrial DNA studies have revealed connections to early European populations. 
These markers show that Greek ancestry stretches back tens of thousands of years, linking the modern population to some of Europe's earliest inhabitants. But Greek DNA isn't just about ancient markers, it also carries traits that have been shaped by the environment and culture. For instance, Greeks are known for their physical stamina and resilience, traits that likely developed through a combination of natural selection and lifestyle. These genetic traits not only connect modern Greeks to their past, but also highlight how their ancestors adapted to the challenges of life in ancient Greece. The Greek landscape is as diverse as it is beautiful, and this diversity has played a crucial role in shaping the genetic traits of its people. From the towering mountains of the mainland to the sun-soaked islands of the Aegean, each region of Greece presented unique challenges and opportunities for survival. One of the most interesting examples of natural selection in Greece is the development of lactose tolerance. In regions where dairy farming was common, individuals with the genetic ability to digest lactose had a significant survival advantage. Over generations, this trait became more widespread in the population. Similarly, the Mediterranean diet, rich in fish, olive oil, and fresh produce, influenced the genetic makeup of coastal populations. Studies have shown that Greeks have genetic traits linked to heart health and longevity, reflecting the benefits of their traditional diet. Natural selection also played a role in physical adaptations. The mountainous terrain required physical endurance and agility, traits that were passed down through generations. These adaptations, combined with a strong cultural emphasis on physical fitness, helped shape the legendary strength and athleticism of the ancient Greeks. The genetic story of the Greeks wouldn't be complete without considering the role of culture. Greek civilization has always been a beacon of intellectual, artistic, and commercial activity, and this vibrancy influenced its genetic makeup. Ancient Greece wasn't just a land of isolated city-states. It was a hub of seafaring traders, explorers, and colonizers. Greek traders sailed to the far corners of the Mediterranean, establishing colonies as far west as Italy and as far east as Asia Minor. These colonies weren't simply outposts, they were vibrant communities where cultures blended. Intermarriage between Greeks and local populations introduced new genes into the mix, but what's remarkable is how these populations maintained a distinctly Greek identity over time. For example, the famous Greek colonies in southern Italy and Sicily, known as Magna Graecia, became centers of Greek culture, language, and genetics. Even today, Genetic studies show that populations in these regions carry markers linked to ancient Greek settlers, but the influence went both ways. As Greeks colonized new lands, they absorbed genetic contributions from the local populations. This genetic exchange wasn't random, it was shaped by cultural practices like marriage alliances and the movement of artisans, soldiers, and scholars. Even during periods of Greek decline, such as the Roman or Ottoman occupations, Greek culture acted as a unifying force. The shared language, religion, and traditions helped preserve genetic and cultural identity. This resilience is evident in the modern Greek population, which reflects both the ancient world's diversity and a strong continuity of Greek heritage. The Greek diaspora also played a role in spreading Greek DNA far beyond the Mediterranean. From the Hellenistic period, when Alexander the Great's conquest spread Greek culture across Asia, to the modern era, Greeks have established communities worldwide. These diaspora communities carried their genetic heritage with them, creating new chapters in the story of Greek DNA while preserving their unique identity. When talking about Greek DNA, it's essential to separate myth from reality. One of the most persistent misconceptions is the idea of pure Greek DNA. While it's true that Greeks have a remarkable continuity in their genetic makeup, no population is completely pure. The idea of genetic purity often stems from outdated notions of race and ethnicity. In reality, human populations have always been in flux, shaped by migration, intermarriage, and cultural exchange. What makes Greek DNA unique is not its purity, but its resilience and adaptability. For example, during the Ottoman period, Greece was part of a vast empire that spanned Europe, Asia, and Africa. This era saw significant movement of people, and some genetic exchange inevitably occurred. 
However, despite these influences, the core genetic markers of the Greek population remained intact. This continuity is a testament to the strength of Greek identity, which has been preserved through language, religion, and culture. Another misconception is that ancient Greeks were completely homogenous. In reality, ancient Greece was a melting pot of different tribes and cultures, from the Dorians and Ionians to the Achaeans and Minoans. This diversity was a source of strength, allowing Greek civilization to absorb new ideas and adapt to changing circumstances. Modern genetic studies have debunked simplistic notions of racial purity, showing that Greek DNA is a complex tapestry of ancient and modern influences. This complexity is something to be celebrated, as it reflects the dynamic and interconnected nature of Greek history. So, why does any of this matter today? The study of Greek DNA isn't just about understanding the past, it has real-world implications for the present and future. In the field of medicine, genetic studies of Greek populations have provided valuable insights into health and disease. For example, researchers have identified genetic markers linked to conditions like thalassemia, a blood disorder that is more common in Mediterranean populations. By studying these markers, scientists can develop better treatments and prevention strategies. Greek DNA has also contributed to our understanding of human migration and evolution. By analyzing the genetic links between ancient and modern Greeks, researchers can trace the movement of people across Europe and the Mediterranean. These studies have revealed how ancient populations spread agriculture, language, and culture, shaping the world we live in today. On a cultural level, the study of Greek DNA connects modern Greeks to their ancestors in a profound way. For many people, understanding their genetic heritage is a source of pride and identity. It's a reminder that the achievements of ancient Greece aren't just historical, they're a living legacy carried in the DNA of its people. Finally, Greek DNA serves as a powerful example of how genetics and culture are intertwined. It shows us that our genes don't just determine our physical traits, they tell a story about where we come from and who we are. In the case of Greece, that story is one of resilience, adaptation, and an enduring connection to the past. To sum it all up, Greek DNA is a remarkable blend of continuity and diversity. It reflects the resilience of a civilization that has endured for thousands of years, adapting to new influences while preserving its core identity. From the ancient Mycenaeans and Minoans to the modern Greeks, the genetic story of Greece is a testament to the power of culture, geography, and human connection. What's most fascinating is how Greek DNA bridges the past and the present. It's a living link to one of the world's most influential civilizations, showing us that the achievements of the ancient Greeks aren't just part of history, they're part of who we are today. So, what do you think? Does this story resonate with your own understanding of heritage and identity? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the fascinating world of history, science, and culture. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.